Do you want to make videos but don't know where to start? You're at the right place then. In this video, I'll talk about all the essential steps for creating a video. Hi, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unique Converter. I've been making videos for 8 years and I also study film directing so I can safely say that I have picked up some knowledge about film and video making over the years. And I'm going to share it with you. There are 4 key steps to making a video from scratch. Number 1 is an idea, number 2 is script, number 3 is filming and number 4 is editing. The idea is often the most difficult part and it's also the one requiring the most creativity. Unfortunately, I won't be able to give you an exact idea, but as a guideline, think about what inspires you, things that you love or like to do. It can literally be anything, literally anything. Now, once you have that idea, it's practical to write it down. Even if you don't write a full-on script, make sure to have bullet points at least, so you don't forget to record anything. That can be really frustrating, and I'm talking from experience, so you can believe me. So, you have the idea, you also have it written down, Let's film! Now this part used to be a lot more difficult and not everyone had a camera back then but nowadays when most people have a smartphone and you probably do too because you're watching this video and if you do have one it can probably shoot in at least 1080p so you can already go ahead and start filming. And let's just stick with a smartphone. Maybe you can get a tripod like this one so you could set it down somewhere in case you need to film yourself. Always make sure that what you're filming is in frame and clear to see. If you talk about a flower, film the flower and not your window like this, for example. Now lighting, it's a very important thing but can also cost a lot. If you can get lights, great, but luckily you have a free option as well, which is natural light. And it's also the best choice by the way. It's simple to use, just film in front of a window, like this. One last thing is audio. It's also probably the most important one, <laughs> maybe even more important than recording video. If I can give you one piece of advice, if you're gonna spend money on equipment, spend it on a microphone. Great audio quality is vital, but for starters your phone's audio will might as well do it. iPhones for example have great built-in mics. Alright, now you can go ahead and record your video and see you in post-production. The final step is editing. There are a bunch of editing softwares you can choose from, starting with ones on your phone to high-end industry standards like Avid. And of course you can also use the Wondershare Uni Converter, which then you can also use to convert and compress the video for easier distribution on the internet. Now the technical side of editing is something you'll have to learn in your chosen editing software. But a few key factors to editing are cutting out all the unnecessary parts, a well-paced rhythm, choosing the right music for the video, but remember that sometimes no music at all is the best choice. If the genre allows, using annotations and effects to keep the viewer's attention. And that's basically it in huge leaps, don't overthink it, just, just do it, start now and you'll learn everything over time. And of course, YouTube will always be there to help you with your questions, including us. And if you're just starting out, don't worry about equipment, start making videos with what you already have. And as you proceed and get better at making videos, you can go ahead and invest in a camera, or microphone, lights and so on. But for now, just grab your phone and start filming. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, we're glad to help. With that being said, Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.